Now, intellectuals point out that their advice has not been taken into consideration when drafting the constitution, which is now at the center of controversy. There were several ministers who arrived here. They took them and said that they will return with the photocopies. None of them came back. Sri Lanka, Orumitanadu, is that a requirement? No, it is not. If this is the case, they should include the language spoken by the indigenous community. No one speaks of the Malay or the Burger people. No one said at the election that a constitution which has no meaning, no understanding and no people's mandate will be drafted. Therefore, this becomes ad hoc. The people become uneasy. This is a disgrace to the leaders of the past. The progress of the Northern Provincial Council has not been reviewed. The whole Provincial Council has to be reviewed. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Anunayaka Thera of the Askiri chapter says that what is required is an election rather than a new constitution. As the Askiri chapter, we have always been saying from the beginning that a new constitution is not necessary. The Mahasanga is against this. The current government does not seem to heed to the opinion of the Mahasanga. It is unclear as to why this is being done and according to whose wishes it is being done. There is no common consensus in Parliament. There is no need for a new constitution for an election to be held, except for dissolving the provincial councils. There should be an election for the people to take a decision, irrelevant of the problems in the constitution. It is better if the mandate of the people can be received even at a provincial council election. On the other hand, there are various political and cultural problems. The country's future is uncertain because of this. The mandate of the people should be sought. If not, the current situation is uncertain. The chief incumbent of the Rajo Pavanarama Viharia in Gatambe also spoke against the new constitution. I do not know whether the Prime Minister has lost his mind. I do not know what he is thinking. Even he is unaware as to what he is doing. The people in the government are also unaware as to what is going on. If they receive some money, they will take that money and raise their hands for anything. All the people who go there want to live rather than make the country better. People have problems. The people do not have food to eat. There are economic problems, there are housing issues. When that is in their heads, they are further burdened with something else. The people are being deceived. Everyone is being deceived.